We're coming up to our 200th anniversary in 2028 and if you reflect back on things that the Royal Free is good at and famous for and things that it does with UCL, our partners, a lot of it centres around immunity, transplantation and all the research that will go on in this building. I think for me personally it's, it's sort of a dream come true. Uh, so it's been a project that has been some 15 years in the making. This is a fantastic building for the charity, but also crucially for our partners, um, University College London on the research side and the Royal Free London NHS Foundation Trust. What's really special about this building is the way that it combines so many things of vital importance. It provides us accommodation for patients, loads of really fantastic laboratories for research, the opportunity to bring the community in to the cafe, and of course, a new home for the charity ourselves. It started at the very beginning when we needed to find the funding. So we were working then with philanthropy, with the Royal Free Charity, with the Royal Free Hospital and with UCL. All parties contributing to the financial envelope that allowed us to go ahead with the project. We were working with Wilma Dixon and we have succeeded in delivering this uh, building. You know, a lot of our patients are quite ill. They come in uh, and they participate in research trials for which we're really grateful. And then imagine having to go off somewhere else to stay the night. I think if I was a patient on a trial at Royal Free or if I was coming in for treatment at the Royal Free and I could stay this close to site in this kind of quality accommodation, it would just make it much easier. Much of what we do is about the people. But sometimes being in a building that feels and looks light and clean and airy and has a really great mix of professionals in it, it's going to give you confidence that the treatment that you're getting and the trials that you're on are the very, 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 very best that we can offer. We wouldn't have been able to do it without our partners and actually without the construction partners as well. So and Wilmot Dixon have been great partners. Putting up a building like this next to a hospital must be quite difficult. So the building is designed by Hopkins Architects and BMJ Architects, so two different sets of architects. It's essentially five levels of concrete frame and then two levels of structural steel on top. If you live in Hampstead or know Hampstead area very well, it's all red brick and the building on the outside is sort of matching red brick to match the buildings that have been here for sort of hundreds of years. So it's trying to fit seamlessly into the local environment. Uh, the pandemic obviously affected the programme um, quite severely. We had to maintain social distancing. Wilmot Dixon made the brave decision to remain open and keep the construction sites going. And we adapted our business and changed our business within a couple of weeks and we were operating safely. On the ground floor of the building, um, we have the Royal Free Charities offices and then the other half is car park spaces for the general public. Level one, again, is another car park area. We move up to level two and there's a cafeteria in the main reception area for the building and also it contains UCL laboratories. Levels three and four is all UCL, so it's all research facilities, all laboratories. And then you get to level five and six and it's hotel rooms, which are run by the Royal Free Charity. Well, I mean, it's, it's of course incredibly exciting, so we've been waiting for it for a long time now, but it's actually also very timely because the importance of the immune system, I think, in the public mind has never been greater than it is now. With COVID, clearly the immune system playing the key role in providing the, the protection. The PEARS building is just part of the story of philanthropy on this site. Um, the hospital has been here for almost 200 years and was originally founded thanks to the generosity of local residents. We're really delighted to be able to continue that legacy and take it on into the future for many years to come. One of Wilmot Dixon's catch lines is we deliver brilliant buildings and this, make no mistake, is a brilliant building. Internationally, locally, it's going to matter this building, which is really fantastic and a, a, a real feather in our cap to have built it. You're in a world-class institution and that's exactly what we wanted.